Hi, it's Emily Stein here from Roll for Fitness and I was at a networking event recently and I was talking to several women and several people had on knee braces from whatever accident or injury that happened and a lot of people call me saying they have knee pain, they have back pain, so the easiest way that I typically teach people that to work on their knees is using the Yama and Abadaline black balls. They're just really applicable to any part of the body, whether you're your hips are tight or you want to work on your shoulders. They're just good for kind of getting into small spaces. And so I'm going to show you kind of a very basic routine that uses the two bottle and black balls. You'll place them right underneath your kneecap. So you want to make sure that you have them in a nice space here. So this is more trigger point work. Ideally you would work up your hamstrings and release tension there. So what I'll do is Kind of show you here you'll take the two black balls you'll place them right underneath your kneecap like so and you'll just lean kind of in pressure weight into the balls and you'll just breathe here you'll inhale and you'll exhale and then you'll take the balls you'll move them to the inside of your knee and this side so there's little things you can do that don't take a lot of time and so just kind of Situate them here, and that's it. Make sure nice and straight. If you want to, you can raise one leg up, other leg up. So they're basically, they're hugging your kneecap. And the next spot, you'll take them right in front of your knee, like so. And just breathe here and breathe. You inhale and you'll exhale into the balls. And they'll take the balls out. You'll put them back behind your knee. You'll move them just in front of your knee, like so, and just press here. So for people that come to me for knee issues, I always have them work on their feet because the knee and the foot are directly connected. As you know, everything in your body is connected. So this is super easy to do. So I'll finish off with that. Take the balls out, kind of shake that out. If it is any issue leaning forward, you can kind of just twist yourself one way, twist yourself the opposite way and just breathe. So you always get a counterbalance. And so what I would show someone next is when you're stretching and you're rolling, this is a super easy stretch you can do. It's just called bent knee hamstring. You'll take your strap around the bottom of your foot. You'll hook your strap like this like so, and you'll take your hand, like so, and you'll bend your knee, you'll straighten your leg, inhale, and exhale. Release the strap, put it on the other foot. So, always good to do both legs. So you'll inhale here, come up, Exhale, inhale, bring your leg up. This is a bent knee hamstring stretch. So you can do this after you did your knee and bring your leg up like so. And you wanna hold on to your leg like this and release and straighten. One more time. So there are really easy things and tools you can use to Leave any tension in your body. It doesn't take a lot of time. You can do 30 minutes a day. You can do 10 minutes a day. It's just a matter of what you want to invest in and the time you have. And taking rest days. If you're someone that works out a lot, if you're someone that has a desk job, it just depends on what you're willing to invest in and how much time you have and what you want to work on. So what your goals are. So um, my name is Emily Stein. I am the owner of Roll for Fitness. I teach you how to roll and stretch your way to better health through active, isolated stretching and body rolling. And it's a really great practice to incorporate into your health. It's good for improving mobility, circulation, basically preventing injuries that might happen in the long run. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.